Rachel, thank you. There's been another outbreak of COVID-19 here in Maryland, the most recent cluster at a juvenile facility in Carroll County. WJZ is live tonight. Some lawyers told Avajoy Burnett they've been worried about a potential outbreak for weeks, and today the governor responded. Avajoy. Well, right, COVID-19 has been a long running concern in some correctional facilities. Well, we've learned that 26 minors and 15 workers tested positive for the virus at a single juvenile facility. It's an inappropriate response for our children. Jenny Kids Egan, an attorney with the Public Defender's Office in Baltimore, says she is angry after 26 of the 29 students at this juvenile facility tested positive for COVID-19. She had concerns proper precautions were not being taken to prevent an outbreak at Silver Oak Academy in Carroll County. We raised those issues with the Department of Juvenile Services back in April and again in May. Uh, and we believe that those responses were inadequate and what happened as a result is one of the largest outbreaks in a juvenile facility in the country. The Department of Juvenile Services has also been critical of Silver Oak Academy, which is licensed by DJS, but is categorized as a private entity. In a statement, the facility said since the onset of COVID-19, they've implemented pandemic protocol and followed CDC guidelines and Carroll County Health Department recommendations regarding hygiene, sanitation, social distancing, and use of masks to avoid COVID-19 exposure. But despite those measures, nearly 90% of the minors and a quarter of the staff members tested positive. At least five adult inmates have died in Maryland. Wednesday, Governor Larry Hogan announced the state will start universal testing in all state-run correctional and juvenile facilities. Egan wants to take it a step further. We are asking for all of these kids to come home immediately. Now, the three students who tested negative have been moved to another facility. The facility also announced that the workers who tested positive, they will be able to be off for 14 days with pay. Live at 5, Avajoy Burnett for WJZ.